Hey, Sarah O'Kelly here with Skipper's Review TV. I am at the Miami International Boat Show 2019. And I like to walk around the show, find a couple of things that I feel you guys will find interesting, useful. And this just jumped out at me when I heard the, the spiel from uh, Alfred. It's a bilge pump, but I'm told that we don't call it a bilge pump. But in essence, that's really what it is. It takes the residue water that usually gets left behind from your regular bilge pump and sucks it out and keeps it dry from the condensation, prevents mold and mildew and corrosion. But Alfred is going to fill you in a little bit more about exactly what it does. So hit it, Alfred. Certainly. Well, the Arid Build System technology is what we like to call a computerized automatic vacuum system. So it will automatically vacuum from your bow, your mid and stern, and it will suck up up to 100 feet in distance, and it will suck every little bit of fluid until it's completely dry. So instead of um, having the bit of odor, having the bit of rust, the corrosion, our system will just suck it up from the source. So no more need to just throw some bilge cleaner down there, some odor eliminator, ozone machines. Our system will suck it down at the source. So can you get, uh, how does it work? Can you, is the actual system where the water is located or is there a pump connecting to it? Or how, tell me how it actually works. So it's uh, not a pump. We create our own internal vacuum system. So I'll show you right over here. This is a good model example. This is um, already sold for a mega yacht. What exactly is the difference between a vacuum and a pump? So fluid is going through a pump real time and we create a vacuum inside right over here. And then we're able to go and route these tubes. As I said again, up to 100 feet in distance. And my little display right here is a good explanation for your bow, mid, and stern. We're gonna be saving the stern thruster, bow thruster, uh, just because that little pickup is taking the fluid out. Typically, you got a lot of fluid. Now you have another system, uh, I'm not sure if it's connected with this or if it's a separate system, but if you do get an oil leak or some sort of solution leak, you'll get an alarm and let you know ahead of time before it gets into too much trouble. Can you tell me a bit about that? Yeah, certainly. Well, we offer the Echo Friendly system, which will vacuum. When we create the vacuum inside right here, you're going to get hydrocarbons. You're going to get a trace amount of oil all over your boat typically in the engine room, especially if it's a diesel style boat, um, the oil is just going to be trickling down into the bilge. <laughs> typically the bilge will just pump that sucker right on out. But here at Arid Build System, we have the opportunity to go and then collect inside the system and then discharge it into a separate reservoir we call the Echo Friendly. Oil is lighter than water, so the oil will be sitting up on top, meanwhile the fluid will be going out gravity feed. We do also offer the Echo Alarm System, which is a probe that we go and put inside of the Echo Friendly, and it'll alarm to the owner, captain, crew from the engine. You have a big oil spill all of a sudden going into the engine room. Our system's gonna suck that sucker right on up. And, you know, typically it would just go on overboard. But then we have the opportunity for going to the Echo Friendly, and it'll let you know to immediately stop, to stop everything that you're doing and go down to the bilge, go and see the system. We have our zones, they'll all be labeled. You go back to that zone because potentially if you have a red hydraulic fluid in one of the zones, you go to that spot. You're gonna find a clean trail back to the source. If I want to get this installed, uh, is this something that I can just install myself or do I need some, is it a pretty simple installation or? Actually, Ed, Ed is the best one to really explain that part right over there, but you know, we've been very much well explained. What do you think of this system? What's your opinion? We've saved clients and customers quite a bit of money on thruster repairs or replacement with new units because of the Edge build system. And so you've done quite a few installations. Have you ever come across any kind of problem or is it difficult? To have, how would you feel like the average boat owner, would they be able to do it themselves or they feel they need to bring you along? The equipment probably should have somebody that very familiar with it and the placement and wiring uh, mounting the unit in a dry safe secure place have and you sorry. that's what we've seen i don't know if a normal everyday boat owner would be somebody that would want to try to put this in because of the details and the stuff that we had to get certified with air build systems to go and actually start putting the units in several years ago 
So after you've installed these systems, have boat owners come back to you and had any complaints or difficulties or in any way not happy with it? We're seeing, unfortunately or fortunately, less customers calling us back for the same problems that we were called for initially before we put the unit in. So I think they're making the unit too good for us, <laughs> but it is a superior product for the past five years. We don't hear back from the customers. So what specifically are the problems that this system is preventing? We're seeing leakage from garages, uh, air conditioning units, um, strainers, generators, um, with water laying in the bilge of the boat. And when the boat's playing off, the water goes to the back transom and it sinks the thruster motors and they don't like to be wet. Okay, all right, Ed from EC Rough Marine, Al from Arid Build Systems, thank you so much.